Sweden's Ministry of Defense announced that the country would be delivering its third aid package to Ukraine, and this time around, Ukrainian forces will be getting the Robot-17 anti-ship missile system. Sweden's donation of the Robot-17 is the latest example of what seems to be a growing willingness among allied nations to supply the Ukrainian military with more advanced weaponry. In addition to the Robot-17 system, the $102 million package includes financial aid for both the Ukrainian Central Bank's fund as well as NATO's fund for Ukrainian armed forces, 5,000 anti-tank launchers that unofficial sources have claimed to be at four light anti-armor weapons, and AG-90 rifles and ammunition. An additional $10.6 million will go to civilian efforts through the Swedish Civil Contingencies Agency. However, the Robot-17 system will likely be among the more eagerly anticipated aspects of the delivery. The Robot-17 system is a Swedish anti-ship-slash-coastal defense derivative of the US-made AGM-114 Hellfire missile and was first manufactured in the 1980s by Bofors Defense, now known as Saab Bofors Dynamics. While the Hellfire missile system was designed to neutralize armored vehicles that stand off ranges often aboard an attack helicopter, like the AH-64 Apache, the man-portable Robot-17 can be launched from a shoreline firing post as well as naval vessels. The missile itself is laser-guided with a range of roughly up to 5 miles, but this is likely a bit less under normal operating conditions. The Swedish Ministry of Defense said that the delivery of the Robot-17 was specifically requested by the Ukrainian government to address the increasing Russian presence in the coastal regions of southeastern Ukraine. The man-portable Robot-17 is ideal for protecting against amphibious invasions and is quite survivable as units can easily set up and position the system for firing. The system also has a secondary capability to attack land targets that could come in handy, as well. The delivery of the Robot-17 systems, as well as the rest of the third aid package coming from Sweden, indicates a historic shift in the country's geopolitical ethos. Since 1939, in the name of neutrality, Sweden's policy was largely centered around not sending weapons to countries in active conflict. Sweden first went against that doctrine in February when the initial $95.9 million aid package was announced. The traditionally non-militarily aligned country also recently filed joint applications with Finland to join NATO. Now, with the third aid installment currently being processed, Sweden isn't shying away from outwardly supporting Ukraine. Thank you so much for handing over uh, the applications for Finland's and Sweden's uh, membership in NATO.